Something else very special that is happening here today in Des Moines. Yeah, there's going to be something happening here as somebody is wrapping up a project they began uh, weeks ago, and it's going to be hard to fathom this, hard to believe this, but uh, think about somebody who's going to be going around to all 50 states and mowing lawns in all 50 states, Jackie. Well, we want to introduce you to him right now. Rodney Smith Jr., thank you so much uh, for being me. here with us this morning. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so you're in Des Moines today. We're, we're yeah. on your tour. So you guys uh, make my leg uh, 47th or 46th stop? Yeah. 46th right. stop. Out of 50, so you're, 50. Uh, you're, you're, you're the home stretch. Home stretch, so tomorrow I'll be in Minnesota, then Friday I'll fly to Alaska, then Hawaii. And then you're done. done. And uh, wow. but let's talk about this project. 50 mm -hmm. states, 50, 50 states. lawns. Uh, and this is the second tour yeah. that you're doing of something like this. How did this all begin? Um, a few years ago, I had a one-on-one -on -one -on -one conversation with God, and I asked him to use me as his vessel. He didn't give me an answer that day, not a month later, not a year later. It came a few years later in 2015 when I came across an elderly man outside mowing his lawn, and it looked like he was struggling. So I pulled over and I helped him out. That night, I decided to mow free lawn for the elderly, disabled, single moms, and veterans in my community in Huntsville, Alabama. At first, my goal was to mow 40 lawns by the end of winter because at the time I was getting my bachelor's in computer science. Mm -hmm. But I mowed 40 lawns so quick that I my goal to 100. A month and a half later, I reached my 100th lawn, and that's when I came up with the idea of raising my lawn care service, where we will still mow free lawns for the elderly, disabled, single moms, and veterans, but we will also include kids ages 7 to 17 and show them the importance of giving back to their community. So you're teaching lawnmower. at the same time? Then. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to teach these kids to put down the video games and get out there and and make a difference in the community with a lawnmower. What have you experienced uh, showing up to somebody's house, an um, elderly veteran, as yeah. you've been saying, disabled, uh, and you say, I'm going to help you mow your grass. What is the reaction from people? A lot of them are surprised, especially when, when I'm on tour, my 50 state 50 lawn tour, a guy just driving around America mowing free lawns. Yeah, no, so how do you do this? You know, what, what do you have uh, going for you? You just have a lawnmower in the yeah, back of so your car? I, have a, I drive a Ford, uh, 2012 Ford Edge, and in the back of my car is a lawnmower, weed eater, and blower, which is provided by Briggs and Stratton. Okay. And they've contributed funds as well as my lawnmower equipment for this journey, so I'm very grateful for them. Now, this is your second go around. Yeah. W what inspired you to keep on going a uh, second um, tour? So, yeah, last year I, I done it. I was doing two or three states a day. This time I'm doing one state a day. But what made me do it again this time was to encourage more kids. So I'm stopping the schools and organizations, talking to kids about lawnmower safety, the importance of community service, and encouraging kids to join our 50 yard challenge. Our 50 yard challenge is a challenge issued to kids nationwide and even worldwide to move 50 free lawns in their community, free for the elderly, disabled, single moms and veterans. So let's say you had a kid right here that accepted this challenge, they'll make a sign saying, I accept the 50 yard challenge. In return, we will send them a white Raising Man Lawn Care Service t-shirt along with shades and ear protection. Once they mow 10 lawns, they get an orange shirt, 20 urns of green, 30 are blue, 40 are red, and 50 are black. And once they reach 50, we fly to wherever they are, we do lawns with them, and we also give them a brand new lawnmower. So are you serious? Yeah, so oh my goodness. We're, we're, we're showing you what those shirts uh, look like. Go back like. to that shirt. And, Go back to the shirts real and, quick. And uh, we showed you some images of kids holding up wow. that sign uh, saying that we accept this challenge. So we, we have a few right here in your city. Oh, we do? Part. Yeah, we have young, one young lady by the name of Frankie. She's taking part. In, she's, on a 40, she's on a red shirt right now. So... She has 10 more to go. Then She's I'll up be, to 40? Yeah, so she has I 10 more it. to go. And Frankie, I'll be back. you need to get a hold of us. So when you get to 50, we can have you <laughs> Absolutely. on. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll definitely be back when she reaches her 50. You are going to come back. Okay, cool. Bring her okay, yeah. Stuff. yeah. Uh, Bring her out. We'll have yeah. her come out. You guys both come on. So you're, you're changing people's lives yeah. and realizing just by getting out and doing a simple act yeah. of mowing someone's lawn, and, you can change lives. And the funny thing is, when I was younger, I didn't like mowing lawns, but God took something I disliked and turned it into something now I love to do. Now I'm doing it every single day. So how big of lawns are you doing here? Uh -huh. we're, we're talking, you don't just do one. You don't no, just no. do one in a state and then go. How many are you doing uh, today? How many are you doing today? Average of three to four okay. per state. And how long does it take you for each lawn? Uh, it just depends on the size. Okay. You know? Well, obviously, it depends <laughs> on the size. <laughs> but about, uh, I'd say 30, 40 minutes. Okay. That's about it. So yeah. a, a nice chunk I of time. I don't do no acres or nothing for a push mower. That's okay, too well, much. then yeah. mine was out. Well, too. Okay. Okay. well I was okay. going to say, you said you enjoy a push mower. What is it yeah. about just I, I pushing a mower that you love the so much? The exercise. Is know? it at least yeah. self-propelled? Yeah, it's a little self-propelled. Okay, self okay. Yeah. I can't, that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a lot yeah. of work. How do you find these lawns? Are you just driving around neighborhoods? Um, Are people helping you? How does social media. I just make a request on social media. People refer their grandmothers themselves, you know. So social media plays a huge part in what I'm doing. All right. Absolutely. So you know what route you're going on today? You yeah. already know where you're going today? So I got about three loans, three or four loans set up, and okay. I'm going to knock that out, then head to Minnesota. All right. And you, and you are physically driving to Minnesota, yeah, right? Yeah, physically driving. You jump driving. on I-35 and head north. Yeah, whichever way the GPS takes me. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll go there tonight, and tomorrow I'll wake up, and then Friday I'll fly out to Alaska and away. 
Unbelievable. Amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. And you're trying to make a statement, as you said, and yeah. this go around with this tour, really trying to reach the kids. Yeah. And you're you're wanting to create chapters yeah. in every state eventually by having those kids hold up that sign yeah. and say, I so, accept the challenge. Yeah, so the big goal is to start chapters of raising my lawn care service in all 50 states and mm -hmm. all cities. So my, once I get done with the tour, that's my goal. And then next year, I plan to do something called Seven Continents, Seven Lawns, because there's grass around the world and there's kids around the world that I need to reach. Right. Unbelievable. Yeah, so, I'm gonna do that. so you're going to continue to expand. If people yeah. want to learn more about this, they want to participate, they want to reach you, or maybe just donate to your wonderful cause, um, how can they do that? Our website, wearerasingmen.com. And it's not just for the young men, it's for the young ladies as well. Okay, Absolutely. yeah, like, like Frankie. Yeah, Frankie, okay. exactly. All right. Unbelievable. And so th I'll, I'll go back and review that one okay. more time uh, for kids that want to. Is it too late for kids to take the challenge oh, they can, this year? They can do it whenever they want to. I mean, in the winter and the fall, we also include raking leaves and snow shoveling so okay. it's a year-round project really yeah what a great idea okay so the this. review of what what kids can do right now if they want to get involved if they want in to the get project. involved okay. they can go to our website um fill out the form and make the i accept the raise i mean the 50 yard challenge make the sign. sign yeah and then upload it and then we will send them the white shirt and get them started okay All right. we are yeah. raising men.com for more details on this and i think we even have some footage of you out and about around <laughs> some communities yeah. uh doing your thing and it, it's just a, a amazing your story which you can also follow along if you go to uh, weareraisingmen.com but uh, you're really trying to make a difference uh, in this our community in the country and eventually the world which is just absolutely amazing well, thank you. now what what has this taught you over the past uh, almost two complete you know rounds that you're doing mm -hmm. I realized this year it's a need it's so many people who have come across that need this service and want this service in their city full-time it's, 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 it's a huge need like this year almost in every city I go I got a lot of requests it's, it's a lot and I wish I could help them all but I can't but that's the reason why I'm trying to get the kids encouraged and trying to encourage people to start chapters in their city and state so we can help these people that need help. Now, how popular has it become in the different states that you visited since <laughs> last year? Oh. Yeah, are, are people yeah. waiting yeah. for you to come back? <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, this year it really blew up. Like, I mean, I done it last year. It was okay, but this year it just psh, yeah. it exploded. What, what state participates the most? With how, what state has the most kids um, that are doing I your project? I, Ohio. Have, you know, Ohio? Like, Ohio. They have about 20, I think. 20? 20. Then Texas. Okay. Yeah. All right, Iowa, time to okay, step up. Okay, how many up. do we have here in uh, Iowa? Maybe three or four. I believe. Three or four? Okay. We can do better. <laughs> we, we, we can okay. step up. So kids out there, make those signs. Hold up your sign that says, mm -hmm. I accept the challenge of uh, mowing 50 uh, lawns, and you can be a part of this program and truly changing uh, people's lives here in our neighborhood. Ronnie, thank you for thank doing you. what you so do. So nice to meet you. Very, very nice to yes, meet sir, you. Sir. you got to get to work. You're, yeah, that's you're right. you got to lawn them all, right? Yeah, i got to feel All right. Before it gets hot. Yeah, that's the whole idea. All right.